Before the video begins, I just want to quickly mention that I am doing a giveaway for Season 4, so if you'd like a chance at winning the Season 4 Battle Pass, all you need to do is like this video, comment below saying you're new here, or if you've been around for a while, just say hello or something along those lines. And last but not least, you must be subscribed to the channel. I'll be picking three winners at the start of Season 4, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. My name is Eradicate, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over a highly requested topic when it comes to Cold War and your progression in-game. And that is weapon level XP, how to level up your weapon fast. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys the best strategy in Cold War to level up your weapons super, super quickly. So be sure to stick around to the end of this video so you don't miss any of the points I mention. But before we get into that, I want to quickly mention that this video is sponsored by DigiZani. This website will allow you guys to purchase in-game currency, video games, and boosting services. And specifically for Call of Duty, you can navigate over to DGZ Gold and purchase things like max level weapons, max prestige, dark aether and dm ultra unlock services, and so much more. Make sure to use code eradicate for 5% off your purchase. You can also go to DGZ gold giveaways and enter to win some awesome prizes. So big shout out to DGZ for sponsoring this video. I greatly appreciate it and remember to use my code when making purchases for 5% off. So over the life cycle of Cold War, we have seen various different methods that used to work for leveling up your weapons fast, one of which was the D-Machine 4-player party X-File at round 20 strategy. But it is now season 2 and with that, we've had access to more game modes and things to do in-game and I'm going to be showing you guys the single fastest way to level up your weapons in the current state of the game. So with this method, you can actually level up your weapon all the way from 0 to max level in one single game. But it's also important to note that you don't even need to level up that high depending on the weapon and depending on why you're leveling it up. Because if you're simply going for, let's say, the Dark Aether camo, most of the camo challenges are fully unlocked by weapon level 50 or even earlier. So moving forward towards the actual strategy I'll be showing you today, it actually is another zombie strategy, which is actually really, really good in my opinion. Obviously, zombies is a super popular game mode this year round. And I like that it's the topic of today's video because unlike previous Call of Duties where you had to level up your weapons, mostly through multiplayer, you can essentially play a lot more casually in zombies and, you know, have a good time, kick it with your friends and be leveling up your weapons in the meanwhile. So I just want to quickly say, if you guys want to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything but one second of your time. And in return, I'm constantly dropping videos regarding zombie glitches, guides, videos like this, breaking down the fastest way to level up, level up your weapons, rank up your battle pass, and all that good stuff when it comes to Call of Duty Cold War. We're making our way to 4,000 subscribers and it truly means the world to me to see some support back from the community. So really quickly, I just want to shed some light on something and that is if you guys have ever played Modern Warfare or Warzone, there's a pretty good chance that you might have some double XP or double weapon XP on your account and these tokens are Warzone exclusive, meaning you can only activate them while Warzone is open. However, they will most likely transfer over to Cold War. Keep in mind, not all of them will work like this, but a good majority of them will, and I think that's important to note because it will ultimately help you when leveling up your weapons in Cold War. So just go ahead and check to see if you do. Open up Warzone, activate them, then just switch over to Cold War, and the tokens will still be active while you're playing Cold War. So getting into the actual strategy, like I said before, I was able to take my Farah, the new DLC weapon in Cold War, from level 1 all the way to max level in one game, and that was playing Outbreak. And I wasn't even using double weapon XP tokens the entire time. I think I went into the game using a 15 minute double weapon XP. And I think that brought me to about level 15-ish, maybe around 20. And then the rest of the game was just playing with the regular weapon XP rates. Now what I recommend for the strategy to maximize the leveling rates and get the most bang for your buck when it comes to time spending game. What I would do is just join a public match or party up with some friends and make sure you have a 4 player lobby. Then I would play like 2-3, to three, maybe 4 waves of Outbreak, maybe go a bit further. But then I would X-File and then rinse and repeat this method. As you guys know, the higher and higher you get with the rounds on Zombies, the less and less XP and weapon XP you earn. So X-Filing at round 3 is going to be the best way to optimize your weapon level XP earned in this method. Also, with the more players in your game, you're going to be getting a weapon XP increase and there's also going to be more Zombies in-game. As we know as well, when you're playing zombies, the XP is shared between the players. So as long as, let's say, you and your friend put bullets into the same zombie, you're both going to be earning the XP from that kill. Now, keep in mind, Outbreak isn't a good strategy when it comes to grinding critical kills or leveling up. However, it dominates when it comes to leveling up your weapon. So I would recommend playing this game mode to level up your weapons, and then once you've got your weapon to level 35 or 40, Go ahead and switch over to Firebase Z or D-Machine to finish grinding Dark Aether. So once you're in and you're playing Outbreak, there's sort of two things you can do to gain massive amounts of weapon XP. 
and that is to simply go around the map killing every single zombie you come across. However, that's going to be fairly time consuming, and that's why I recommend the second method here, and that is just sprinting right to the objective and hoping it is a defend objective. Because these defend objectives involve, you know, killing a bunch of zombies and it's going to give you a ton of weapon XP. If your first objective is a defend objective and you're on wave 1 of Outbreak, what's going to happen is the game's going to be spawning in a ton of zombies and you're just going to kind of be there spraying down hordes of zombies as they come and you're going to be rewarded with tons and tons of weapon XP. After watching LEGO Unlocked discuss this method, he was able to level up his Farah from level 1 to 25 in like 12 or 13 minutes just playing the first objective round of Outbreak. Which, honestly guys, that's incredibly insane. 12 or 13 minutes of your time and your weapon's going to already be at level 25. That's unreal and it's honestly unheard of. If you're playing multiplayer or another game mode, you're not going to be getting those weapon XP rates. And I want to give a huge shout out to LEGO Unlocked for actually shedding some light on this strategy. So that just about wraps up today's video, guys. If you found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Call of Duty content. And with all that being said, guys, my name is Eradicate and I'm out. Peace.